This year at the Voinovich School, I've been studying a public art project called the Quilt Barn Initiative. Um, this public art initiative incorporates art, communities, and local culture with an effort to promote tourism. The Quilt Barn is a barn that has a large quilt pattern painted or displayed on the side of it so that it can be seen as people drive past. Um, they were actually started in Adams County, Ohio by a woman named Donna Sue Groves. She wanted to honor her mother, who's a quilter, and so what began as this idea for one quilt square on one barn in Adams County actually grew into a driving trail throughout Adams County. She, she got a team on board, they created this quilt barn project, put up 20 quilt barns, and people started really noticing it. I had, I had this, this fantasy or this dream or that, that it, was, it would be an imaginary clothesline that I could see these, these pretend, you know, that barns across, across Appalachia in the United States that we could interconnect community to community. It's really been challenging for me to learn how do you evaluate a public art project. We think of most studies as numbers, as facts and figures, but really the backbone of this project has been qualitative and anecdotal data. I've learned so much by speaking to the people involved and learning how the Quilt Barn Trail has personally affected them and affected their community. And finally, I'm so glad that I've been involved in this project because I've gotten to see firsthand the infectious enthusiasm that comes with these quilt barns. Everywhere that they spread, people are excited to be involved in the project. The project coordinators, the artists, the barn owners, the volunteers who come and paint, all of these people can't wait to be involved and to help, this, to help these projects grow in their communities.